the orchestra and myself are celebrating 50 years of friendship, let's say. Music making, thousands of concerts, I don't know how many hundred tours, <laughs> recordings. We've had a lot of music flow and a lot of generations that have played under my baton now in the last 50 years. My first concert 50 years ago was like yesterday to me. I've said many times, it used to be an orchestra of the ex-Austrian Empire with Sabras. Today it's an orchestra of the ex-Soviet Union and Sabras. <laughs> <laughs> so the orchestra has gone through a decidedly uh, significant change. It has gotten younger, it has gotten in a sense of technical, technical brilliance, much more evolved. Musical passages were, which were impossible to play in the 1960s. Today, our young people are just, uh, uh, just throwing it out. But that's, that's evolution. That has been going on since 300 years. Uh, what is capable on a musical instrument between generations. For me, the high point of next season will be Schoenberg's Guru Leader, which will be in July. This is one of the greatest masterpieces of the beginning of the 20th century. One of the last pieces of the Romantic era. It is after this monumental piece that Schoenberg was convinced he couldn't go on anymore composing in a tonal manner and the whole ton tonal palace was destroyed and then he went into his adventures of atonality and then invented the 12 tone system, etc., etc. Daniel Barenboim will also come and do the five concertos of Beethoven in specials. Then we have another special concert with Rene Fleming. Uh, where will be the concert? In Jerusalem, the Sultan's Pool. At the Sultan's Pool in Jerusalem. Plus, Pinka Sukaman will be our one of the last soloists of the season. So, July is packed with really great music played by personalities, of course. Uh, we have very good singers for the Guru Leader. The chief part, which is a soprano, is uh, Jennifer Wilson, who is my, for the last four years, has been my Brunhilde in the ring cycles that I did in Italy and Spain. Torsten Kerl is a great new German uh, Helden tenor. He will take the, you know, the main part also. And then, of course, during the season, we are starting with finally a dream come true that we can make music with the Batsheva Ballet. They are doing. They are going to dance Petrushka with us. Then we go on a tour of Bangkok, China, Japan, and Korea. We will also do some ballet in Japan with the Tokyo Ballet, the Rite of Spring, and Petrushka. Apart from giving concerts, of course. Roberto Abado will come and do uh, the other opera, Rossini's Barber of Seville. We have the return of Ricardo Muti, Yefim Bronfman, and a great visitor who will be with us with the Philharmonic, I think, for the second time, Thomas Kvastov, one of the great, great baritones of the world, singing Kinder Toten Leader. Then we have some uh, very uh, important uh, debuts. Kirill Petrenko, young Russian conductor, who has great success all over the world. He is finally coming. And Sophie von Otter, one of the great mezzo-sopranos will be coming through the beginning of the season. And what is wonderful amongst the Israelis, we have Haran Meltzer, who is a young cellist that I auditioned for me last year, and I said, look, we must, we must find something for him. So I have a concert with young people. Maya Tamir is a pianist who is 10 years old, whom we don't want to exploit. We just want to show her talent, and then we will send her to school, like we did with Yefi Bronfman and Shlomo Mintz, etc. We, we introduce them, and then they have to go to school, and then we'll see them 10 years later. <laughs> so this is an example. Uh, also, Daniel and Alexander Gurfinkel, the twins, who played clarinet with us 10 years ago at one of our functions at the Hilton Hotel. They are now grown-up teenagers. They will play a Mendelssohn concerto for two clarinets. But Haran Melsa's father, who is our first trumpet, will also play a concerto later on, Egal Melsa, etc. So it's, it's, it's a fa sort of a family business that's going on. And this tradition is very important. The children of, uh, of uh, orchestra members, those children who have enough talent, perform. Uh, Shelley's daughter performed with us a couple of years ago on the tenor tuba. 
etc. And, and you know, we have a really season with uh, very fine artists. Kent Nagano is coming back, Mr. Bromstedt, and our debut of a South American conductor, Diego Mateus, who just conducted in Florence with great success also. Andra Schiff comes back, mm -hmm. James Galway is coming back. אנחנו פותחים וסוגרים את העונה עם יצירות של שילוב מחול והפילהרמונית. אז אנחנו עושים תחילת העונה את פטרושקה עם להקת בת שבע, שרון אייל הקוריאוגרפית המבריקה, ובסוף העונה אנחנו נעשה את בולרו של רבל עם עידו תדמור ולהקת הרקדנים שלו. כך שאלה מבחינתנו שני אתגרים אומנותיים וטכניים כאחד. ועד כמה שאני רואה ממה שבינתיים זה לא הולכות להיות חוויות מאוד מאוד מיוחדות. This season we have two real hits, Trovatore and Rigoletto, and I told the orchestra we should have done in the same period also now Traviata, because these three operas belong together, like the three Da Ponte operas of Mozart. Traviata, Trovatore and Rigoletto are under one umbrella stylistically also but we can't do three in one <laughs> month uh, we have really excellent singers first of all Hen Rice who has sang Gilda with me at the Munich Opera with great success she will do it here with her is a tenor um, Grigolo so coming a new Italian star uh, who will also do the film of Rigoletto with me later on this summer and uh, we start with Trovatore of course and there, I must say, we have found a new young soprano because the original one cancelled. And she auditioned for me last month in Florence and I said, Look, come, I have a space for you. And yesterday she sang one aria with the orchestra and the, you know, she got an ovation already in the rehearsal. Her name is... Uh, Giuliana Di Giacomo. <laughs> Giuliana Di Giacomo. She's so new. <laughs> so enough. <laughs> Gavanelli, who will sing the Rigoletto, has sang it with me also in Munich. He's a great singing artist. He came here a few years ago when we recorded Bohème, uh, etc. So we are looking forward to really <laughs> one, uh, one evening after another of publics uh, really appreciating it a lot. Because singers are good, orchestra is playing it with verve, and uh, I look forward to these, this month of two of Verdi's middle period masterpieces. You know, they are, these are operas where there's not one weak moment in any of this, uh, nothing. One hit after another. How these, uh, I mean, it's like Mozart, the Don Giovanni that we did. Not one moment that falls uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in an inspirational uh, fashion.